but the black man in this country is supposed to be uh, getting freedom. The country is supposed to be based on that. Uh, democracy, freedom, justice, equality, and all that stuff that they teach us in school. And uh, now, why should the black man have to go to court to get freedom when a white man in this country is free when he's born? Why should the black man need some legislation to prove that he's a human being when you don't need any legislation to prove that whites are human beings? So I make this point because to come right back to my initial statement at the outset of the program, you will never get real freedom and recognition between black and white people in this country without destroying the country, without destroying the present political system, without destroying the present economic system, without rewriting the entire Constitution. It will be a complete destruction of everything that America supposedly stands for before a white man in this country will recognize a black man as something on the same level with himself. And, and as long as these intolerable conditions are there, as long as the Negro finds himself living every day in a major depression, uh, then uh, every city will sit on a, a powder keg and can explode over the slightest incident. I feel that killing is a very tragic way to deal with any social problem. There is no violent solution to the problem that the Negro confronts in this country. And this is why I have constantly said that riots are socially destructive and self-defeating after all. The use or misuse of that power is everything. Will it be for the greater good or will it be used for personal or for destructive ends? Now this is a question we must all ask ourselves. Why? Because we are mutants. For psychics, this presents a particular problem. When is it acceptable to use our power, and when do we cross that invisible line that turns us into tyrants over our fellow man? But Einstein said that ethics are an exclusive human concern without any superhuman authority behind it. Einstein wasn't a mutant, so far as we know. <laughs> they wish to cure us, but I say to you, we are the cure! The cure for that infirm, imperfect condition called Homo sapiens. They have their weapons. We have ours. We will strike with a vengeance and a fury that this world has never witnessed. And if any mutants stand in our way, we will use this poison against them. We shall go to Alcatraz Island, take control of the cure, and destroy its source. And then, nothing can stop us! I had never really read comics as a kid, but I was a great fan of science fiction and fantasy, uh, literature and movies. And, um, and when he presented it to me, I thought, a comic book? I don't know, and, and I started to examine the materials and, and look at the characters' histories. Once you get past that initial baggage, you see that it's really a great story, and that's what Brian saw. It's the magic of science fiction and fantasy. It lets us look at the human condition, uh, tell a normal human story, but from a completely different perspective. And I think this was sort of Stan Lee and Jack Kirby's way of uh, commenting on prejudice in their own colorful way. minority, suppressed minority, homosexual, uh, uh, religious, um, Muslim, whatever it is, that is the most absurd question that people do ask. Can you try not to be who you are? And so we felt it was very important to show that absurd side. To me, that's, that's what it's about, this whole kind of idea of discriminating for no reason and this whole misunderstanding between um, groups of people and I think it can be translated into what we see every day. The point of the movie is they're all humans and really the people that pay the price 
are the people that are inflexible, that say, no, only I'm a human and you're not. And that's really the core of racism. That's what makes it abhorrent and, uh, and ultimately evil. You know, you, 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 you can't judge people on the basis of their skin, their mental abilities, or their claws, you know, you just, you just can't. It's, it's a very human thing. I mean, human beings are very clannish, you know, they like to, they like to stick to their own. You look out for yourself, then you look out for your family, then you look out for your community. You know, people are just very into, I mean, it's, I think it's sort, of, it's sort of an instinct to look out for your own kind. And when another group comes along that's of a different, you know, that looks different or is of a different ilk than you, people feel very threatened and they start to, and they start to fight. Excuse me. They say you can imitate anybody, even their voice, even their voice. Then why not stay in disguise all the time? You know? Look like everyone else. Because we shouldn't have to. It's important to teach children and to teach kids, and this audience, this film is going to reach a huge audience, and hopefully some people will glean, glean that off of it, that if you're different and you're repressed and you're a minority of any kind, it's okay. Celebrate that, because that's what, because anything that makes you unique is what makes you wonderful. And the scene between Mystique and Nightcrawler just in a few lines encaps encapsulates that. He asks a question that is a very normal a question that anybody could ask. And he gets an answer that people who, who understand X-Men and really believe in it and can translate the X-Men ideas to their own lives, you know, it really hits home. It's very strong. And it grew because I think that our ideology is very strong. And I think, and I also think that every young person, even if whether you're in a minority or you're not, any young person at some point in their life feels different. They feel strange. They feel like they don't belong. And they dream of going to a special place where they could be taken care of and loved for who or whatever they are. There's not many people that'll understand what you're going through. But I think this guy, Xavier, is one of them. He seems to genuinely want to help you. And that's a rare thing. For people like us, 